it's a big city and it is, uh, as I'm studying translation, I have to learn British English. So I think that England is the best choice and London, you have so many stuff to do here, so many things to visit. It's one of the biggest cities in all of Europe. You need to study proper English, it's in England. So it was an obvious choice to go to London. Here you have a lot of options. You can travel in Europe and I definitely like this. Uh, you're gonna find food from everywhere. You're gonna meet people from all the countries. So it's not just London, really. The school is in central London, not far from Baker Street. It looks pretty new. Uh, it looks like it's been renewed for a couple years ago. Usually in class, we are not more than 10 or 13 people so that we can speak as much as we can and ask as many questions as we want. They teach in a very funny way. They try to encourage the students to always, you know, uh, get up and speak English all the time. Uh, do what you want to do. If you don't want to do it, it's okay. Just speak English all the time and write English. <laughs> Good, correct, yeah. It's, it's just a relaxed atmosphere and the teachers are all friendly and joking a lot. It's fun to go to school. We begin with uh, grammar and writing during two hours and a half. Then we have a break and we go on with uh, speaking and listening. And for those who want, we also have afternoon classes for the exam preparations, vocabulary, also business lessons. So you have a wide range of different courses that you can choose. Okay. Uh, I chose business English because I'm studying economics back in Denmark. In business English, we have presentations of different companies. Um, we talk about each country because we are from so many countries. We analyze different manager styles. I'm doing the, the IELTS class because I need the exam because maybe I, I will study something later and for my country and I think in general it's important if you can, I don't know, take the exam to show that you really learn English. The classes are not always the same. It's never boring because, uh, for example, last week we had one class in the National Gallery which was great, like uh, studying something about art, but in English, and it was a nice, a nice time. The people in the school are very friendly. Everybody is uh, ready to help you. And uh, if you have a problem, you have just to ask something. If you've got a problem, you can just come to the reception and, and ask them if, if they can solve it for you. And they are always very open-minded and, and wants to help you, so it's very nice. I usually have my lunch in the school, in the canteen, and I think it's a great place to meet your friends. Maybe they are not in the same class as you, but you can meet them at lunchtime, and you can have a nice lunch. Sometimes I eat at the cafeteria. They make good food and cheap food, comparing to, to other cafes that you can go and eat at. I use the computer areas and the, the cafeteria to, to call my friends um, from Skype or from Messenger and email my friends and stay in touch with my family and friends back home in Denmark. You can be with your friends, you can meet them in the library or just relax. I like the facilities in the school. Every day you have something to do with the school, so if you don't know what to do, just join the school and go with uh, your friends. Or uh, what we usually do is going to the pub in the evening, or going to clubs, talking and get to know each other after classes. The school has a social program, which is very helpful. You can meet new people, um, even if they are not in your class. I was visiting uh, with the social program of the school, Buckingham Palace. It was very interesting. It was not expensive at all because we went in, in, a, in a group. And you, you, you have very, very much fun with that. Yeah. Uh, 
uh, back in Denmark, when I was looking for accommodation for staying here in London, I, I, I wasn't sure how to get it, so I went on Facebook and um, I wrote flat in London and there were so many possibilities to, to, if you want to live in zone one, two, three or four, it was so easy to find uh, accommodation. I chose a, a student's house because um, uh, I'd like to be independent. I think for my English it could be better if I had chosen a family, but um, I'd like now to be independent and come and go when I want to. And it's, it's very funny because um, there are so many people coming and going and uh, there are Italians from Brazil, there, there are Germans as well, and it, it's really, it's, it's always relaxed, we have lots of fun, and we, we are also going out together, and cooking together, it's, it's cool. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. have fun and learn English at the same time so I think it's the best way to learn you don't feel like you're going to school like in your own country it's more like having fun and learning at the same time really originally I came here just to, to learn some some English in general and approve my my written and my speaking as well and over the, the past three weeks I think that I, it's it's become better and I've received uh, good results from my from my teachers as well so it's up to now, it's been a pleasant stay for my, for my behalf. I would highly recommend coming to London. And I would also recommend going, coming to the school because it's a very big school with a nice atmosphere. It's very nice to meet people from every country and they are always very nice to you and I, I like it. It's very easy to make friends at the school because they are all open-minded because they all want to make friends, new friends from different countries and that's, that's great. Yeah.